Hello and karibuni to another video. Na hii story ya kina Dimpompos. I think now we need to call it Keeping Up with the Dimpompos. Sasa, tumeona mama karo amekuja kuomba msama after kuchapana na mze Dimpompos. Mpenzi wake, mbaya alikuwa ni mpenzi wake before mali ipote na mapenzi ishe. <laughs> Kumbe watu wengi ni mali tu inawaweka kwa mtu. Mali ikipungua tu hivi unawaona wakianguka. They, they, they are dropping right now. Like seriously. Dimpompo is losing all his money, all his properties. Kwa sababu already mwanamke wake ametunza mali yao. Sasa tuliona Maria ni kama saa ameanza ku realize kwamba hapa vitu za Dimpompo aziendi poa, saa ameanza kutetea Hosea juu ya issue ya mtoto. Alafu mama Karo amekuja pia anataka kuomba sasa msamaha kwa mama Ngube because ameona alikuwa pesa zenye zilikuwa zinamweka kwa mzee zimeisha na wamekosana na hata mimba haikuwa. <laughs> wa. Yaani watu wanaweza kusingizia mimba just because wanataka pesa yako. Na huyo mzee hata hakuwa na realize hao watu wanamchezea. Cuz number one, Maria hakuwa amemzalia aliclaim kwamba alikuwa na mimba yenye ilitoka. Pili mama Karo alisema pia yeye alikuwa na mimba sijui ya miezi tatu nne. Saa hii mimba imeenda wapi? So kama hakutoa mimba ni, ni ile tu ya kusema anamsingizia mimba just because anataka aendelee kupokea pesa. Na ni kitu ina, inakaa ilianza kitambo because anasema hata pia yeye alikuwa akichangia kwa masomo ya Karo. Mama Ngwe pia alikuwa anachangia kwa masomo ya Karo ku cover up uh, uh, juu ya mimba ya ya Karo. Max pia alikuwa anamtumia pesa. Eh, si familia ilikuwa inakula pesa kutoka kwa <laughs> kwa baba Ngwe. <laughs> wow. Yaani hii dunia tutajionea mambo. But this story this is one of a kind. Yaani tangu ianze imekuwa tu drama after drama eh zile vita zinaendelea kwa kwa, kwa Samaritan jana niliona mama Karo anarusha mangumi kwa <laughs> kwa baba Nguge una, unajiuliza kwani hao watu walikuwa wanapendana kweli ama ni pesa tu ilikuwa inawaf, inawafunika macho kwa sababu saa hii sasa wamekosana wanadanga wana wanatukanana wana ma, matu singine chafu chafu wanaongea wana wanaambiana vitu chafu alafu ujue kwamba hawa ndo wazazi hiyo ni kwanza ujue alafu pili kuna wakuna watoto wakubwa sasa wanafundisha nini watoto mama Karo ataambia nini wasichana ama baba Nguge hata kama hana haya lakini ataambia nini wa vijana wake sasa kumwangalia akifanya hivi vitu yani wanatukanana Vitu zenye walikuwa wanafanya in private yeye na mama Karo sasa wamezileta wanaanika kwa camera. I hope this is acting because if this is what parents are doing then I don't know which kind of generation we have right now because wazazi wanatuaibisha. Wanaibisha watoto wao kwa mitandao. Yaani unaona ni acting lakini ile vita wanachapana ina, ina, inakuwa ni real like ni kweli. And then you are just sitting there thinking, oh my God, what's happening here? Kumbe tusilaumu karo. Tujue kwamba, an apple doesn't fall far away from the tree. Sasa hapo tunaona, vitu zenye mamaka mekua kifanya, do hiyo karo alikuwa nafanya before. Ni vile tu, azikuwa zimetoka. Sasa vile mama karo, sasa amejitokeza, meonyesha vile ana, anafanya vitu. That's when you realize kwamba, ha? hata karo ni kujifunza alikuwa amejifunza from the mom. So, it's just been a very interesting story to follow. Kila siku it's very interesting. Ni kama sasa wameanza kurudi wakiomba msamaha juu ya hizo vitu zote amefanya na sijui alikuwa anaomba msamaha because wamekosana na mwanaume. Bye, sasa alikuwa ni mpango wake wa kando. <laughs> Ama anaomba ile genuine msamaha kwamba alikosea. Because from me what I see is wamekosana so hakuna benefit yenye atapata in terms of money so ameona hakuna aja sasa kuendelea ku, kukuwa na issue na mama Nguge sasa it's easy kuje tu aombe msamaha you know but kama ako genuine kuomba msamaha ni sawa 
kuwa we to judge kama ameomba msamaha na mama nguga amesema atamsamea hata kama hata kuwa karibu na yeye it's all good msamee keep your distance kwa sababu sasa umeona kikulacho kinguoni mwako ule rafiki yako mwenye ulikuwa unaona is very close mnasaidiana mnafanya vitu pamoja unaenda hata kanisa pamoja <laughs> ndio anakuja kukugeukea na kuchukulia mwanaume anakuharibia boma yako na anakuambia right on your face kwamba anafanya hivi so it's just very interesting na niseme before ni malize kwamba as always don't forget to subscribe i'll see you on my next one